Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. So if anyone saw my video in the past, I posted a video a long time ago on how to get bird poop off of anything. So I thought I would remaster it because recently, of course, doing this every single day, I have developed new tactics and discovered a wonderful new device that is going to save you guys so much scrubbing. So we're gonna be covering how to get poop off of doors, off of windows, flooring, carpet, bed sheets, clothing, you name it, we're gonna cover it. Having birds means that there's gonna be poop everywhere and it's just something that we gotta deal with. Gotta get used to cleaning every single day and that's okay, we do it because we love them. You're gonna wanna be careful to not use any chemical cleaning products around the birds because these things are toxic. Any aerosols, any bleach, any Windex, any of that is going to be toxic to them. Instead, we're gonna go back in time to what they used to use in like the 50s, 40s, I'm not really sure what era, but it is a great, cheap cleaning product that you guys are gonna have to really use for everything and that is vinegar mixed with hot water usually what i have in my room is that i have this spray bottle and i mix it up with some vinegar so it's going to be one part vinegar and two parts hot water and then you just mix it up in the spray bottle and you are going to spray it on any area that has poop on the floor just wait like a little bit for it to kind of like loosen up the poop if it's dry and then you just kind of sweep it off and ta-da, the poop is gone. If you mop, then you can also add vinegar to the mop water. Or if you have those mop pads, then soak them in some vinegar and hot water. And that should also be able to do the trick. A small one that I sometimes use is wet wipes. I usually use the wet wipes for very small, quick cleanup methods. Kind of like, for example, if the doorknob is full of poop, then I'll just grab the wet wipe and I'll just quickly give it like a little clean because the doorknob isn't exactly something that they're gonna land on. As for the carpets, so with the carpets you're probably going to want a vacuum cleaner that has a hose attachment. Now if they poop on your carpet, let it dry. If you try and clean it while it is still wet, you're just gonna smear it over the carpet and then it's gonna be really hard to clean that. So what you want to do is let it dry and then with the vacuum cleaner you come in with the hose and you just give it a bit of a scrub with the hose. It should come right off. Ideally when you have birds you probably want to stick to having flooring. I wish I had flooring. It would make my life so much easier. But in case you do have carpets, I do have a solution that I recently added to my room to make things so much easier for spots where they are. Now first thing is that they do stand on the like ceiling fan of course it is never on but they use it like kind of as a carousel or a little play game and i usually have like a little towel on the floor underneath it so it kind of catches whatever poop falls on there and for the main area where their cages for their play stand and tree stand is we got polycarbonate mats make sure they're not the other kind of mats that people typically use because these are toxic for your birds but the polycarbonate ones are completely safe for them it is so much easier to clean poop out of there because it acts like a flooring so i would just treat it as if it was a floor use the vinegar hot water and clean it off as for poop with clothes it's pretty easy. You just put it in the washing machine and it is gone. If for whatever chance they do poop on the clothes you're wearing and you need to head out, then you can just clean it off with a bit of water, maybe even a wet wipe, give it a dry and it will come off as well. It may be a little harder if you have like furry or fuzzy clothing, but if you have kind of just regular like cotton or silk or whatever it is, then it should come off very easily. Same thing with any fabrics like bed sheets. Usually I like to put a very thin bed sheet over my bed so that when they poop on it during the night i just kind of take it off and that is <laughs> and then i tend to wash it every... <laughs> and then I... <laughs> and then i tend to wash it every so often <laughs> Uh, but that kind of protects my actual bed linings and so that you're not sleeping with it in general. I usually will um, bring it over my pillows as well so that it is covering everything that I sleep on. Now for the grand discovery that is different to what I mentioned in the old video that I made, which is the steam cleaner. Oh my goodness, this has saved my life. I got this product recommended and I will recommend it to you guys too to get a steam cleaner. And now, Disclaimer, if you are going to use a steam cleaner, make sure your birds are in a separate room because of the hot steam can burn them, they can fly into it. So many incidents, make sure they are separated when you are using this product. So this steam cleaner, you are going to be able to use it on the windows, on the walls, on the doors, even the flooring if you feel like. And of course, the cage. 
which we all know is the disaster to clean so much scrubbing. Now in the old video, I suggested the vinegar and just scrubbing it with like some sponge. Now vinegar is antibacterial, so you can definitely give it a spray down with the vinegar and then put the steam over and then just go clean it off. Clean with the walls, just steam it off. All that food that sticks to the walls is gonna come right off. Doors, window sills, everything. It is gonna be your lifesaver, I swear. And I didn't find it that expensive for what it was. I got the small one, obviously it's not an industrial one, but it has made my life so much easier. A lot less manual labor. You guys are really loving talking over this video, huh? Yeah. Yeah. There is a second method to cleaning the cage though. Because I live in Canada, we have a lot of cold weather. So this is really ideal for me. But if you live in somewhere in warmer weather, or whenever you have a chance with warmer weather, weather, <laughs> Spring and summer are coming up for us, and this is usually what I like to do because, again, the least amount of labor, the better for me, is that I will bring the cage outside, and I will spray it down with some vinegar, and I will grab the garden hose and put it at the jet setting, and just spray down that cage. Everything is going to come falling off. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it did help to kind of figure out how to clean different surfaces. Again, no chemical products, guys. Get rid of all of those. You're gonna be using vinegar and water. Make sure as well to check out our Etsy shop. We got some cute phone cases and pop sockets of 20 different birds that you guys can find. They are so adorable. Ah, can't do this one-handed. Make sure to check out our social media links down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you wanna see more of us. Um, thank you to our translators who translated for your birds so they can understand everything I am talking about. Really appreciate it. Great job. You get a raise. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.